The question that we've been asked is, does Eula do Gmail integration? The answer is absolutely yes. I'm going to show you an example here. I got this email from Best Buy. I read this email as a lawyer. How do I docket this in Eula without going into the software? I can go into the software, go into the manner, find my, uh, let's say it is a consumer dispute. I can go here and say email, correspondence, and I can type all that stuff. I don't want to do any of that. Right? Like, you know, I want to do this right from my Gmail. How do you do that? For that, you need to download something called a Chrome Web Extension. So go to Google and Google Chrome Extension, right? And when you Google go Chrome Extension, you will get into this extension portal. And you can search for ULaw. So you can search for ULaw Toolbox. And as you see here, we have a beautiful toolbox which you go here, you'll see a lot of utilities that you can do. One of those features that we have is what we call the email integration. So when you install this one, right, it will appear here. And when you click on that, you will see your ULA toolbox. And that's so much help. You can go to app, you can help, you can, there are manuals, bootstrapping, go to our webpage, there's our Twitter access, YouTube access. One of them is what we call the ULA docket launcher. Right? So you can launch the docket here. The first thing that you need to enter is your username. Then you need to enter something called a secret key. Where do you get the secret key? The secret key actually comes from your setting. Under setting, under the matter tab, if you go to the bottom most, you can say email integration service and you can pick G Suite and then put a secret key here. Make sure that the secret key is like your password, minimum 16 characters, has upper characters, lower characters, special characters, like, you know, please don't have it trivial because if this password, this key is hacked, people can actually get access to your account. This password is as sensitive as your main ULA password. So once you have entered that and you hit the save button, that means you're telling us that you're ready for integration. So what you would do is you put your username, right, and your secret key and hit the close button. Once you've done that, you basically set yourself ready for docketing. Then what you can do is you can go to your Gmail. When you go to your Gmail, after every email, there'll be, these are two Gmail buttons and we have now added two more buttons by the Chrome extension. One is called email read and one is called email sent. In this case, we got an email from Best Buy. So I'm going to say, hey, I read this email. Once I click on that, now if I go to the extension, you will now see that Eula is automatically filled in the name of the uh, email that it came from. So this is Best Buy's email, it automatically filled it. Now that same email is here as well. So now Eula should know what are all the matters associated with Best Buy. Let's see if it can find out. So what you can do here is now go and search for it. The minute you search for it, what ULA will do is it will search for it and then fill in the matter here. As you see here, ULA found two matters for Best Buy. One is called a consumer dispute, another is called breach of confidentiality. You can choose which matter you want to dock at that. And you can say, hey, I just had an email correspondence and the subject was, how was your recent purchase? That's probably my subject here too. So if I go here, how was my recent purchase? That was exactly my, my subject of the email. So the ULA is smart enough to automatically populate you know, the matter, uh, the, the the title, and the description. All you need to do is enter a docket. It puts a six minutes docket, but you can say, hey, this was uh, 18 minutes, right? And now that you've chosen, let's say I'm gonna choose breach of confidentiality and I hit the docket button, you now wait for a message here to say that EULA has completed that docket. There you go, it says, hey, the docket has been added to the matter. Now if you go to the matter, and hit the matter button here and go to breach of confidentiality you should see the docket here 11 42 p.m 18 minutes email correspondence how was the purchase so without even entering the eula software using the chrome extension and the gmail you can add it i'm going to do it again let's see if you go to your gmail you can just say i've read the email go here and click on the eula docket rancher search for it It'll immediately bring you which one. This time I'll go for the consumer dispute, okay? And I'll say, hey, this time I was 30 minutes. It took me to read that email. And you can you can add description. I mean, we basically picked it up. You can say email correspondence from client. You can add the title, change the title, and hit the docket button. The minute you hit the docket button, you should get, you know, 
a confirmation saying that the docket was added. So now once the docket is added, you can just go to ULOC and just click on this matter button. Oh, I, I think it was added to consumer dispute. So let me go there. And here you go, email correspondence from client, 30 minutes, and it adds the description, which will be the subject of the email that you actually read. And as you see here, we have introduced two buttons here, red and send. And you can do the same thing when you send uh, in an email. To, let's say you replied to an email, and this is a send one. Like you can say, hey, it took me so much time to compose, and you can hit the you lost send. Like, let me try that. So let me go here. I'm going to go to that same email. Right? And let me compose an email to them. So let's say compose. And you know, send right now if i go into my sent messages i go to that message now that was the one i sent i can say hey i sent this email now if i go back and hit the docket button now it's like email responded email sent that's the title it just took it and you can change it you can say hey email sent for what reason and then now i'm going to put it in breach of confidentiality let's say that was the matter i'll hit the docket button I'll wait a second or two to confirm that it's actually entered the docket. Like there you go, it says it's entered the docket. Now if I go here, go to my matter, and I think I put it in breach of confidentiality. If I put it there, email respond, send, and it goes to the client. So you can do both the uh, you know reading of email dockets and correspondence, like and the response that you send, like you, know, you can put do, do both. Uh, you know, inside uh, Gmail, we brought that full integration uh, into Gmail.